All right, guys. Today we are going to do a shocks collection. But what is making it extra special is that we are going to identify its information card right here. So every single figure. Let's read some facts. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So let's have a look. Okay. So let's have a look at this one right here. What is this? I think this is a blue shock. Really beautiful figure, it's from 1993, so it's like 30 years old, this figure, okay? And of course, we actually have a blue shock card right here, so let's read the facts together. So let's read this, blue shock. The size is about 3.5 meters long, although they can be found worldwide, blue shocks are not as common these days due to excessive fishing. They are potentially dangerous, but only if they feel threatened or very hungry. In any case, try not to find out if you see one. Alright, so very nice figure of a blue shark. I'm gonna place this one right into the box and all the cards that we have read over here, okay? Next up, let's have a look at this one, which is the Basking Shark. This is quite a cool figure, 2020 figure from Collecte. So you guys should know that Basking Sharks, they are future feeders. Um, we have the card right here, so let's have a look at it together. Average size is about 8 meters long. Mysterious in terms of being mysterious or not, too. Let's read this, straight out of a nightmare, that's how the basking shocks looks. However, this huge shock is nothing to worry about since it feeds on small animals. As it strolls along, it's extremely big mouth wide open. So yep, it is pretty much harmless to human beings. So this is a very nice basking shock figure. We should have a few more basking shocks in our um, uh, collection. Okay, next up, we have a great white shark, okay? I think this has got to be one of the most popular sharks out there, shark species out there, and it's a 2021 figure, which is relatively quite new, okay? With 3,000 sharp teeth at any one time and a big, a bit of a temper, the great white shark's the monster of choice for any aquatic terror movie. Although they are less ferocious in real life, they are such perfect predators that evolution kept them virtually unchanged for millions of years. So they are basically like living fossils. And uh, what do we have right here? We have an oceanic white tip um, shark, I think. We don't have an oceanic white tip shark, that's for sure. But I think we do have a, you know, um, white tip reef shark. This is not an oceanic, but it's okay. I think they're quite close, closely related. So let's read this. The white tip reef shark is probably the most common type of shark found by divers in tropical reefs. The name comes, of course, from the white tips on the first and sometimes on the second dorsal fin as well as the tail lobes right here, which is right over here. Okay, very cool shark figure. Let's move on to the next one. Um, here's another great white, as you guys can see. The great white shark is basically um, my most favorite sp shark species of all time. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Next, we shall have a look at um, a hammerhead shark right here, okay? Hammerhead shark, do we have any hammerhead shark facts right here? Let us try to find. Yep, it's right over here. So let's read this together. You can laugh at its look, but the hammerhead shark the hammerhead shark's head is carved in, you know, tiny special sensors that help them detect electric fields in the water to locate prey. This means they use their head as a metal detector to locate their favorite meal, stingrays. Very nice. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, we do have another hammerhead shark, and, but this one is actually a baby. So let's put it aside first. Another one which is exactly the same. Alright. We do have another one which looks like a hammerhead shark, but it is not exactly a hammerhead shark. It is a scallop hammerhead shark. Slightly different, a different breed, I suppose. Uh, we don't have any, you know, facts about this right here. We don't have any facts sheet of um, hammer, scallop hammerhead. So let's move on. Next, we take a look at the Mega Mouth Shark, which is one of the uh, most mysterious looking and uh, one of the... um. Harder to find sharks out there. 
2016 Mega Moth Shark figure from Safari LTD. And check this out. This is actually how it looks like. Very, very scary looking, that's for sure. The Mega Moth is considered one of the rarest species of sharks and it really honors its name with a bit of a caricaturic look, caricature, caricaturistic look. Much mystery, much mystery surrounds this species since it was discovered by sheer chance in 1976. So they can only be found like really deep in the ocean water. So it's not really hot. It's not really easy to find them. That's for sure. Okay. Here is another great white shark figure. We have plenty of great whites in um, today's video. That's for sure. Here's another one. Okay. And now we take a look at the fruit shark. Okay, which is right here. So this is the cut of the fruit shark. The fruit shark is a living fossil, reminiscent of prehistoric times. It has changed very little since then and looks a bit like an eel. It's 25 rows of needle-like teeth, however, need not frighten you. This shark lives in very deep waters where most of us never venture. Very cool. So similar to the uh, Mega Mouth shark, they can only be found like really, really deep into the ocean waters. Um, here we have the white tip reef shark which we have read just now. I mean, it's quite similar to the oceanic white tip reef shark. Right here, I think we have the salmon shark. I'm not too sure whether this is a salmon shark, but it could be. It could be. All right. Um, let's move on. Um, or it could be a cow nose, cow shark as well. Possibly. Okay, next we have a bull shark. I don't think we oh we do have we do have the cut right here guys the bull shark right here so bull sharks are basically one of the more aggressive species out there bull sharks look pretty scary and are actually quite treacherous with that 300 kilograms of muscle they are among the species with the most registered attacks and the sharp triangular teeth can serrate flesh with ease yeah very dangerous um species of sharks out there that's for sure here we have a Bamboo shark, I think, but we don't have any um bamboo shark caught right here, which is fine. And here with the tiger shark, which is quite common. Tiger shark basically has stripes on his body, and um it's very easily recognizable. But I don't think we have any tiger sharks right here. That's fine. Let's move on to. Let me find one shark that I really like, which has got to be the thrasher shark. It has a very long tail that. You know, it can actually use to whip out at a spray and it is a 2014 Safari LTD figure right here, okay? And of course, we have the fact card right here and it says The most identifier trait of a Thrasher shark is its tail which can grow up to half the shark's body length with a long upper loop and a short lower loop It is used as a whip to stun the prey and makes a great hunting too Shaken, not stirred Very, very nice all right, let's move on to the next one. Um, here is another great white, and this is also from Safari LTD, a 1996 figure, which it means this is 27 years old. Oh my goodness, quite an old figure. Another Megalodon. Do we have any Megalodon cards right here? Let's try to find. I don't think so. I think it's fine. All right, next, let's have a look at this one. Lemon Shark. I am very, very sure we do have a lemon shark in our collection. So let's try to find it. Um, it's yellow in color, basically, so it's quite easily recognizable, but somehow it is not showing. Hmm. Did we put it in the wrong box previously? Are you guys able to spot the lemon shark? Yeah, it's right here, guys. Right here. So this is a lemon shark. Like most tourists, lemon sharks like warm and shallow waters, but unless you happen to live by the South Atlantic or Caribbean coast, you should not expect to come across one of them. Only, a co only occasionally they migrate to West Africa. Cool. It basically gets its name from its body color, that's for sure. Next, we take a look at the whale shark, guys. The whale shark, which is, um, I think, it's right where is it? I think the whale shark should be somewhere inside. Oh, I think we have actually placed a whale shark along with the dolphins and whales. Alright, next let's look for the nurse shark right here, okay? I think this is a nurse shark, so check this out, okay? 
Nerve sharks are common in Caribbean and they are very calm and peaceful, attacking only if treated with violence. They can also be found around the Eastern Pacific, Western Atlantic, and Tropical West Africa. Very nice. Let's move on to the next figure. Uh, let's see what we have. How about the tiger shark right here, okay? Yes, we do have a tiger shark right here, and this is actually from Safari LTD 1993 figure, which means this is 30 years old. Quite an old figure. Tiger sharks are the second most dangerous of all sharks after the great white. They like to hang out in tropical and subtropical climates and usually very close to the surface, so they are relatively easy to spot. They are usually hungry, so beware. So, yeah, tiger shark, they are quite aggressive as well, so they may attack you. So stay away, all right? Let's move on to the next one. Let's have a look at this, which is another tiger shark. So we do have like two tiger sharks of the same type. Great white once again. Next, we have a goblin shark. Do we have a goblin shark hot? I don't think so, but Goblin sharks, they are also very, very scary and intimidating look looking, but they are actually quite hum humblers, I think. They can only be found like, you know, along with the mega mouth shark, they can only be found like in the really, really deep ocean waters. So here's the uh, mega mouth shark here. Once again, it's pretty much harmless to humans. Next, we have a saw shark right here, guys. So let's take a look at this. It is also known as a sawfish. The saw shark is perhaps the easiest to recognize. Its long saw, like it's not, gives them away very instantly. This is of course used for hunting. Quick shakes of the snot from side to side, you know, um, cut the prey to be swallowed easily. Very cool. So they basically used this saw and cut them um, up in, you know, this side to side movement which makes them easier to be fed. Very, very cool, that's for sure. Oh, we actually do have a Megalodon um, card right here, but we have actually placed a Megalodon into the figure, I mean, into the box, so let's pick it up again. If you can picture a ferocious shark the size of two Darber Decker buses, then you know how big and scary Megalodons were. They lived from middle Miocene approximately 16 million years ago to the Pliocene approximately 2.6 million years ago. Very, very cool. So let's move on to the next one. We have a shock ray. Do we have a shock ray card? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Definitely not. So let's move on. We do have a Mako shock, that's for sure. So this is a Mako shock right here. And um, yes, we do have a Mako shock card. Makos are one of the most adaptable and resilient species of sharks which led them to sprawl out all over the world. Stay away from them because they are also the fastest shark, being able to swim quicker than you could ever run, 74 kilometers per hour, and are prone to aggressive behavior. So Mako sharks, stay away from them, they are fast swimmers. Scallop hammerhead, we have seen this before, so let's put it right in. Basking Shark, another figure in our collection. 2007 Safari LTD figure. And this one, it's a Leopard Shark. That's right, 2007 figure. I don't think we have a Leopard Shark figure. I mean, caught in our collection, I don't think so, but we do have a Zebra Shark. They are the same, okay? So we do have another one, which is right here, Zebra Shark. So let's have a look. You may came across, you may have come across a zebra shark, also known as a leopard shark at some point. Since many aquariums have them in captivity, they change their appearance over their lifetime, striped when young, okay? Hence zebra, and more spotted towards adult, hence leopard. But you know, they've actually named this the opposite. This one is named, um, you know, zebra shark, and this one is named as a leopard shark. So, you know, when they are young, they look more like a zebra, and when they are older, they look more like a leopard, which means when they are old, they have spots. When they are young, they have stripes. Very, very cool. And uh, we do have another one right here, guys. This is also, I mean, if you take a look at this, it looks like a zebra more than a leopard, which means it is more like a adult leopard shark. So very cool. Let's move on. 
This one, I think it's a um, salmon shark. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so because salmon sharks are known to have spots all over their body, but also on the bottom of his body. But this one doesn't really have it. Saw fish, or rather saw shark right here, 1994, which is quite old as well, 29 years old. Another hammerhead shark right here from Schleck, quite a cool figure. This one I think is known as a Wobbegong. Do we have any Wobbegong um, cards right here? I don't think so guys. I don't think so. But this one actually looks very similar to this guys. Rajar Ap Appellate Shark. You can see appellates in coral reefs and shallow waters in Australia, feeding on crabs and worms. What is amazing about them is their ability to walk using their fins as legs to explore the reef during low tide. They can even stay out of the water for a long time. Very, very nice, but I don't think this is the one. This one also looks like, you know, one from, um, you know, this card right here in terms of um, the coloration. Black tip reef shark. We do have the card right here, which is the exact same one. So let's check this out. Black tip reef sharks love to hang out in shallow lagoons and the coral reefs of the tropical Pacific and Indian Oceans. They aren't aggressive, but beware of them just in case they think your legs are a pair of fish. <laughs> Alright, very cool. Black tip reef shark. Let's move on to the next one. Manta ray is not in this box, that's for sure, because we have actually kept it with other rays in another box. Cow shark. I don't think we have any cow shark in our collection so too bad bullhead shark we don't have it as well too bad and this is this was the one that i was mentioning salmon shark you can see a lot of patterns and spots on the bottom of his body next we have the sand tiger shark this is very very cool okay because we do have the exact fat cut right here the sand tiger shark is also known as the ragged toothed shark in africa and the grayness shark in Australia. For some time, these sharks have been cute because of their threatening appearance, although they are actually harmless. Yep, they're pretty much harmless and they are actually quite timid, in fact. Okay, next up, we have the bonnet head shark, which looks a little bit like a hammerhead shark, but the snot is actually much shorter than the hammerheads. This one, I have no idea what it is. It's probably a bull shark. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Okay, this one right here looks like the bull head shark. It looks very, very similar to this. So I'm definitely, I'm quite sure this is a bull head shark. So let's read this. Some sharks look very different from what we are used to. The bull head shark has a distinctive blunt nose head, ending in a pig like snot with two large pectoral fins used to clamber along the seabed. Maybe a dinosaur's. Predacer. Hmm, maybe, who knows? Um, let's see. Let's see what else we have, okay? Um, let's go with this. Another hammerhead shark. And I actually call this the lemon hammerhead shark because of its color right here. We have a wobbegong, which is a kind of like a carpet fish. I don't think we have any, you know, fact caught about this, but this one actually looks very, very similar. I don't think it is. Shark Ray right here. Here we have another Great White, which is quite a cool figure, 2016 and um, seven years old. Very nice, love this figure. A mini saw fish. This one, I have no, I have no idea. Is this a ghost shark? What is this ghost swimmer? Ghost swimmer fish drone is part of the US Army program. Stealing its design from nature itself with great potential for attack and surveillance. It can be controlled remotely or swim independently, resurfacing from time to time to communicate. What is this actually? It's like a machine. Spiny dogfish shark. We don't have this, that's for sure. Okay, and here we have a great white. Okay. This one, it's a gray reef shark. All right. And the rest of this, we actually don't have it. Oh, we actually do have the Wobbegong, which is this one right here, guys, Wobbegong. 
So Wobbegong sharks are also known as carpet sharks. Since they are bottom-dwelling sharks, they lay motionless and their coloured skin patterns are a handy camouflage to snap their prey from below, which is very cool. And the rest are basically some minifigures, okay? This one right here is a short fin mako shark, which is probably like our last figure. We have a basking shark right here from Toys R Us. This one, I have no idea what it is. A shark ray, a mini hammerhead, as you guys can see. This, I'm just gonna call it a mini great white. Um, mini sawfish, mini great white. This is definitely a great white shark as well. This could be a megalodon, it could be. This one is most likely a blue shark. Megalodon, that's for sure. Black tip reef shark, hammerhead, and another great white. So, alright, so that is all, guys. That is all for today's shark video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, I'm able to get more of these cards and we can actually do other videos as well. This is actually quite a, you know, a fun pack of cards that actually allows you to learn things and uh, at the same time, you can also play a game of it. Yeah, I got this from a bookstore on my own. Very nice. Alright, thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.